Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? I know it's Wednesday, and I know everybody's been running trying to get here. Uh, but let's lift up the name of the Lord, and let's just praise Him tonight.
with the shout of acclamation. And take me home. What joy will fill my heart. Then I know we're going to bow. Aren't you glad we serve a great God? Amen. Uh, we don't serve a dead God. You can't go to His tomb and find His bones because He ain't there. When you come into the house of the Lord, um, when you're walking through your everyday life, realize who you serve. i got to tell you that with all my heart, I know my God is good. He's good to me. He's faithful. In all things and everything. You know, even in times that we go through trials, He's still faithful. And uh, my wife's not here, but she has quietly walked through some things herself. And I, she's in, but God has been faithful to her. And I'm glad to say that God has been touching her body. I believe He's going to continue to. Complete restoration, complete healing. How many of y'all know that we serve a complete God? Amen. He's not a part of the way God. He don't touch your body just part of the way. He don't take you and say, well, I'll heal, heal this part and I'll leave the other one alone. No, He does it completely. So tonight, if you're coming in here and you have an issue, you have something that you need God to touch, bring it to Him. I'll say it again, bring it to Him. Yeah. Don't expect God to touch you if you don't bring it to Him. Amen. He is not an intruder. He is not a dictator. If you want touched by God, you got the, the Bible tells us to bring our burdens to the Lord. Cast your cares on Him, for He cares for you. 
It doesn't say hide your cares and the Lord shall take them away. It says cast your cares on Him. So if you're coming in here and you have something that's weighing you down, cast it to the Lord tonight. Give it to Him and let Him take care of it. Amen? Amen. All right, we'll go ahead and get our ushers to receive an offering. We're going to go ahead and get into the Word tonight. Let God do what He wants to do. Go ahead and receive the offering, guys, and we'll bless it. going to lift his name up. Amen. I'm grateful that we can come in and we have the freedom to lift his name. How many of y'all are coming expecting something tonight? I know it is Pastor Appreciation Week. I know everybody has been busy. 
I know that we have, everybody has gave up extra nights that's out here to bless our pastors. I want you to know he will honor it. Um, I believe that he's going to bless you abundantly for it. Also, we have Brother Kumar here with us tonight. He is able to make it in. And he's going to be here tomorrow night and Friday night as well. So if you can come in and, and support that. Um, if you know somebody that needs a healing, get them here. I'm going to say that again. Get them here. It, even if you have to bring them in and they can't set a whole service or something, they'll, they'll be able to by the time they leave. But get them in here. Um, we got a lot to pray for. Aunt Sone went to have her port put in today. And apparently that was quite the drawn-out ordeal. It was not as easy as they thought it would be. And she is in a lot of pain, so please pray for her. She's one of those I believe in God to touch. Um, I know there's a lot of other needs. Um, Jamie Lynn, God moved mightily there. Did everybody see that? That the heart surgery was a success. Everything went great. And I really believe... Glory! Wake up, people. God did a miracle on something you prayed for the other night. That ought to excite you. If it don't, he'll go somewhere else and do miracles. I want him to do them here. We got to be excited about things. If, we, if God does something in this church, we better give him glory for it. Or we better not expect him to do another thing. I know I'm preaching to the choir when I got... About 15 people out here. But anyways, I'm excited about what God's doing. I don't take it lightly when He heals somebody's body. You know, because it might be somebody you know now. It might be you next. And if you can't believe for somebody else, how are you going to believe for yourself? I, I tell you what, I learned really quick as a dad and a husband it's a lot easier for me to have church people come up and me to lay hands on them and pray that be gone in the name of Jesus than when it's your wife standing up there that you have watched battle day in and day out and you lay hands and lay hold of it. It's a lot tougher, isn't it? But yet our faith should not change from person to person. It should not change from circumstance to circumstance. God healed that heart. I don't care what your issue is. He'll heal it too. Amen? So tonight, I know we're few in number. We're big in voice. We're big in the heavens. So just let God know you're here and let Brother Kamar know you're here as well. Brother, come on and have your liberty in the Lord, all right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stigler. Greetings to you. Hallelujah. I speak grace and peace to you. To your families to your town, city, and entire to the United States. Amen? Hallelujah. It is a great privilege for me to be with you all. Still, my heart is desiring to see your pastor, Rick. We did not speak each other. We did, we did not see each other. But by God's grace and by prayers of my sister Felicia Murray Campbell, I come to know this man of God through her on the internet, Facebook. So I must thank you, Sister Felicia. I thank you too for introducing Pastor Rick. Praise the Lord. Okay. You have to bear with me for my English knowledge because I, I'm not so well-known speaker in English, though I can manage <laughs> by, by the 
help of Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, how did I come to preach in English? One day I went into a room and closed all the doors. Started preaching to the walls first. My gospel message is to the four walls in a room. I started like this. Walls. <laughs> Nobody's there. <laughs> walls. Do you know who is Jesus Christ? That was my first sermon. And at the wall did not respond. <laughs> so that's why the Lord has changed my preachings to the people. People are needy. <laughs> Walls don't. I have seen a picture of Bruce Lee. He is my favorite hero. Enter the dragon. A villain came to him and he hit the board. He said that boards don't hit people. That's true. But the knowledge of the kingdom is quite different. Go ye into all the world to preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when there is no people, we can, we can continue to preach Jesus to this creation. Because creation is waiting for the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, if I go like this, whole night will be will not be enough i would like to explain the power of the lord jesus christ recently a miracle happened in portland he was a retired pastor at 86 years old and he could not be able to walk properly without any support or help and uh, he, he just walked, when he saw me at the door, just walk like this. He is helping, he is asking help to walk. Because he has a problem bone to bone. When I saw him, I was led by the Holy Spirit with a friend. I asked him to pray. And Brother Kumar, Come and pray for me. When we laid on our, our hands on him, he would just walk like this. Within a second. You can see his photo on my Facebook timeline. Praise the Lord. He was 86 years old. Nothing is impossible. With our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So there is everything possible for us. That those who believe in the Lord. Shall never die. Amen. Shall never die. Because the spirit of death was swallowed by our Lord on the cross. So he's asking, Death, oh death, where is your victory? You were defeated on the cross by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, hope for possibilities. Everything is possible. Everything is possible for us. Bill Gates can give us billion dollars, but he can't give Jesus healing, life. He's waiting for us, brother. One day I will meet 
Bill Gates. Bill Gates. He will meet us. Creation is waiting for sons and daughters of God. Of course, there are daughters too in sight of God. Creation is waiting for us. We are to change creation. Bring something different. Make something different in the societies. Never mind. Either it is the land of America, Australia, India. Never mind. People are people. Needs are the same. You have hungry, me too. You eat rice, me too. You purchase the things, me too. Same. Of course, though we are in different colors and <laughs> heights or something, nations. <laughs> God is not a God of, he's not the respecter of persons. He is the respecter of faith. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah? I would like to tell more about Jesus. Many people asked me that, Brother Kumar, why did you come to America? I, I, I told them, I came here to give Jesus. And I also told them, I came here to receive Jesus. I need Jesus too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, they are so happy. There was a family, a small family living with two sisters and one brother. A village named Bethany. This was a real history in the book of Holy Bible written with clear evidences and testimonies. They were so happy to live together in a house, though they may be poor finances, but they are so rich in their faith, spiritual life. As the days goes, something happened unexpectedly. Some change has been come in the family. The brother named Lazarus becomes sick. And they were not hurried. They were not hurried about their, their, his sickness. What they did, you know, they sent a prayer request to Jesus. Hallelujah. Of course, this disease becomes much stronger. Leads unto the dangerous positions. We all know that Lazarus was dead. Lazarus was dead and buried. Sister Mary and Martha, they sent a prayer request to the Lord Jesus Christ, but the Lord was far away from the place. He did not respond immediately. He did not come to their answer. So when we pray, it may take some more time for answers. But the answer will come if you believe. I have seen, I have seen Dallas in America map. Tulsa in America map. I prayed for America twice. I became now in America. <laughs> I believe for what I prayed. Hallelujah. 
So for everyone works like this. Those who believes, those who prays, they must believe. If you don't believe, don't pray. Simple answer. Very simple equation. If you don't believe Jesus, don't pray. If you believe, if you expect some greater things from the Lord, then you pray. Many miracles happened in my life and will happen in the days to come. Praise the Lord. And many testimonies I am hearing across all over the world from, from the family of God. God is awesome, beautiful, lovely. I love him very much. I can make a statement. He is the world beauty. Amen? Hallelujah? Sometimes I speak to my wife. I love Jesus more than you. My children don't understand, but I, I speak to them. Children, I have two sons. I love Jesus more than you. My firstborn was dead. I did not weep. I laughed. My parents scolded me. My wife scolded me. Don't you know? Are you mad? Your son, we buried our son today. You are laughing. Yes, I said them. He did not go anywhere. He went with the Lord. Hallelujah. Because there was a reason for my love. Because I love my Lord more than my children. More than my family. More than myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because everything is possible with him. Not with my sons. Sons, careful. Parents, careful. Sorry. <laughs> we are parents. We are fathers, mothers. Don't trust in your sons, but <laughs> don't keep away them. Love them. Teach them about our love. So when Lazarus dead, What happens if a death comes in our life? I have many Facebook friends. They, they, they stopped to co communicate with us for a while. And I asked them, brother, what was wrong with you? A family death. A family death. It bothers us. Of course. But nothing to be worried about sickness about death. About whatever we face, Jesus is always present for the possibilities. From the impossibilities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people came there. The Bible says that many Jews came. Many Jews came to comfort these two sisters. To comfort to these two sisters. But they were not comforted by Jews. There was no comfort, real comfort from the Jews. They were still hoping Jesus to come to their home. Hallelujah. Their thoughts their hearts, their thinkings, their, their eyes, their faith, totally spirit, soul, body, waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. Waiting on the Lord to come there. Though they see many Jews, many people come to their home, but 
their hearts and thinkings and lookings are focused on the Lord to come into their house. After four days, the real hero entered into the village. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then Martha heard about Jesus. She ran first. She was the running race winner. She can run fast, but she can't get the goal, the praise. Today, God is going to encourage us, empower us in understanding what the real faith, which faith, what faith works with Jesus. I am not going to speak about denominations because we hate denominations. My ministry is non-denomination. We love each people. We love Jews. We love Gentiles. We love sick people. We love poor people. We love rich people too. Come on. Sometimes you have to <laughs> symbol. This is the symbol. Comforting symbol. Understanding symbol. Okay? We don't hate anyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love children. When Peter was knocking the door, the church was still praying, Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, release Peter. Peter, always, <laughs> Peter was already delivered. <laughs> and he was knocking the door. Church was up. Still praying. But Jesus answered their prayers. But still continuing prayers. But a little girl, young girl, understood the heart of an apostle. Apostle Rick told me that we are not big number. I told him I'm not going to big churches. My church is 20 people. I do know to speak for two people, 20,000 people. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, this is all theology. Where, where I was. Okay. Martha, Martha went to the Lord Jesus Christ and said to him, he saw, she saw, she came, she saw, and she said, Jesus, if you have been here, my brother will not dead. He will not die. She made a good statement. And the Lord <coughs> said to her, even now, even now, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Those who believe, they only see the glory of God. Yes. Come on, church. Many people are coming to Jesus. Many people seeing Jesus. Many people speaking to Jesus. But they are missing in seeing the glory of the Lord. We can see the glory of God by our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she said that. And he said that again. You, your brother will raise again. Your brother will raise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A clear statement. 
from the Lord. She, she received, she, she, she heard about that, but she did not receive. And she is saying theology, speaking theology to Jesus. Yes, I know. Who says that I know? It is devil. The devil first dialogue is I know. I, Jesus is Lord. Devil says I know. But something is different. God expects, Jesus expects something more from her. When, she, when he said, she did not receive, she heard, but she did not understand the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word, the power, the prophecy, the promise. We are the people to understand we must increase in the knowledge. Jesus said to the people, I came here not to steal, not to kill, not to destroy, but I came here to give life and an abundant life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we need, we need those who believe it they shall not die. They shall not die. When he said that, even now, if you ask, even now, even now means what? Everything was done. Everything was, everything was gone. He died. They buried. There is nothing more to do. Again, chapter close, history close. Life closed. And four days gone. They are slowly forgetting about their brother. But now the Lord says, even now, if you ask and believe. Yeah. Yeah. Ask in the impossibilities. Yeah. Believe. In the impossibilities. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the knowledge, revelation from the Lord Jesus Christ. Simply receive. Do not offend Jesus. Martha's faith offended Jesus. Then Jesus did not go further step. I know Jesus, my brother will raise again uh, at the time of resurrection. Martha, Martha, do you know who is the resurrection? I am the resurrection. Hallelujah. I am the resurrection. Martha is seeing Jesus, yes. but did not understand Jesus. Yes. The seven churches needed revival. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Then he, he asked about her sister Mary. If you read different versions, NIV, KJV, and KJV. Read all Bibles. Where is your sister, Mary? And she ran again to Mary. She whispered to Mary because there are many people on her. Immediately, she rose again and she ran unto Jesus. Now, now Mary was coming. Now Mary was coming to Jesus. She came to Jesus. She saw Jesus. She fell down 
on his feet. What is the difference between Martha and Mary? When Martha, when Mary met Jesus, where, where she met, where Martha met Jesus, there was still Jesus. See, he did not come forward together because there was an offense from Martha. So, many, 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 many blessings we did not receive in our lives because of faith offense. You are only, your faith is only your, your, your enemy, first of all. Church, if your faith has an offense to Jesus, Just live by faith. That faith must be very clear. Faith works. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. By faith, we live. Not by monies, not by strength, not by anything. By faith in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two dead people raised in my ministry. Hundreds of blind saw, deaf hear, mute spoke, lame walk. Go and, go and see my Facebook or website or YouTube. Tomorrow I need to speak with Pastor Rick so that I can give you some ministry information to you. Because without his permission, I don't like to pass any information. I love this guy. He is the man of God. Amen. I saw Jesus in his life. Amen. Thousand requests came to me for to visit them from America. But I only, the Lord only led me for five places. Because if I go to a thousand places, I would be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> Don't believe? Don't believe? <laughs> my, my vision here to give Jesus, to receive Jesus. Automatically, the money will flow. I'm not, never minded, I mean, never, never worried about the monies. I did not come 